Hi, Jesse Collins with Pyramid Educational Consultants in the US. And this is a quick little video talking about creating communication and learning opportunities during a St. Patrick's Day themed cooking activity, which is making a um, kind of all green veggie and fruit stick snack. So um, I know for a lot of our learners, this might not be a lot of really preferred food, but one of the reasons that I even like to do this is because I think it's nice for our kids to have to try a variety of things and just engage in the process, even if they're not actually going to eat this. So if you have a kid that loves veggies, this is great. If you wanna to try to do something new or just do some playing with the food and have fun, then this is also a great activity. And essentially, uh, it's just taking a lot of different green veggies and I also added grapes in to make kind of like a fruit skewer or kebab um, for the students. So lots of different things we could do with this and there's some different things you could request or teach your kids about. So I'm um, available with this video. There's gonna be a set of pictures. Um, this is by no, no means an all encompassing set, but on here um, there is a shamrock and then a lot of different green fruits and veggies. Um, added salad dressing in there. Also, if you guys do a taste test for commenting, I like and I don't like. Um, and also, yeah, so these pictures are available. There will also be a written activity or lesson plan with this video. And so you can click and download those as well. So essentially the first thing that you could either have your kid ask for or just give them for free would be a fruit skewer um, or kind of wooden bamboo skewer. skewer. Um, if you're concerned about this pointy end, you can just cut this with a pair of scissors and um, it will be less, a little bit less sharp. So um, it's not really gonna hurt someone though. So, but just in case, if you wanna be safe. Um, then I actually cut up and kind of prepped a bunch of different vegetables. So um, what I have on my plate today is I have broccoli, I have um, some snap peas, I have some green grapes, I have cucumber, and I have zucchini, and then I also have a, a green bell pepper. So um, if you guys are working with younger kids that you're not really doing cutting or prep with, you could just put the things on a plate. Um, if you guys are working with an older student, then uh, this might be a great time for them to work on some of their chopping or cutting skills. So you could use a cutting board and obviously some type of safe knife, but this could definitely be something where um, you could hand over hand help them cut up the, the veggies. Or also if you have slices like this, even just do something like cut it in half if they want different sizes. Um, if for some reason you were working on fractions with your kids, this is something where, you know, I could certainly cut this piece of zucchini into four pieces and do a little bit of fractions here, but I know most of us might not be doing that, that stuff with our students. But just something to think about, um, if you guys are doing math, then um, even if your student isn't cutting things, um, having them count out, you know, let's say five grapes or, you know, five pieces of zucchini, onto their plate is something that you could also do um, as well as having them obviously request any of these particular vegetables. Um, I actually forgot to pick up a shamrock themed cookie cutter, but one of the other activities that they have you doing is to essentially to be able to take the bell pepper, and I've never thought about actually doing this with, with vegetables, but take the bell pepper and kind of cut that into slices um, and where it's a little bit flatter and then to get one of the miniature shamrock cookie cutters and to just be able to kind of cut the pepper into um, little shamrocks and you could do that also if you have a head big enough zucchini or something. Um, I actually just kind of cut this out with a pair of scissors um, so I could have that for my fruits or for my veggie skewer or stick. Um, but that's kind of something that you could also have kids do. You could obviously do other themes or other things if they like different shapes other than a shamrock, but since St. Patrick's Day is coming up, we, I thought I would just do a shamrock themed activity. So um, if you have the cookie cutters available, that is definitely something that you could do to uh, make this a little bit more fun and make it specifically St. Patrick's Day themed. Um, if you guys are also doing math, this type of thing is really good for patterns. So um, if you guys have students that happen to be working on like AB, AB pattern, um, that would be something that you could work on. If you have kids that are working on imitation, you could give them a portion of a stick 
and then kind of essentially tell them to make one that looks the same. Um, so if you're working on same and different, that's absolutely something you could do with these veggie sticks. Um, if you have kids that are following directions, you could definitely give them simple directions like take, um, put on. Uh, we could talk about, um, I was even thinking about this, like with the zucchini, I put some of them um, sideways and I put some of them pointing up. So we could, you know, talk about up and down or um, which side is it facing. Um, and so those are just some other ideas you could think about as well, about things you could talk about during the lesson. Obviously, we could talk about the color green because we have a lot of green things here. And then I think it is always nice to potentially have kids work on a protest. So no, if they don't want to try this stuff or maybe to, to get reinforced for trying some of these new things. Um, I know that uh, dressing is probably going to help a lot with that. I have a client that will taste a lot for me as long as she can dip it in ranch dressing. So... Um, I am unfortunately dairy free, so I have a vegan ranch here that doesn't look quite as good as the regular type, but whatever type of salad dressing that your kid might like, um, there is a picture available for that. So you could have your kids um, dip stuff in the salad dressing as well and actually try it. So I used to love in my classroom doing a lot of little activities like this. Um, and again, even if kids weren't going to eat it, just to kind of be involved in the process, um, potentially delivering it or sharing it with uh, a friend or a teacher in the building. Um, I know we might have to be a little <laughs> stricter about that with COVID right now. Um, and also, again, just having kids try stuff or be able to say no, as well as comment on things that they, they like and don't like. So we would often have a little snack or something that we cooked and then kind of go around in the group and be able to share what they thought about this activity. So if they thought it was delicious, if they thought, yuck, it's gross, I don't like it, then that's a great thing to work on commenting wise as well. So lots of different activities that we could work on. Um, you know, definitely something that you could always pull also an OT or another therapist into to kind of collaborate and add extra um, learning opportunities in here as well. But hopefully got you guys thinking about some different things that we could do with a healthy kind of easy to do snack. And if anyone does this, let us know or share about how it went and hope you get your kids eating some more veggies. Thanks guys.